Hi, my name is Michelle Aznavorian and I'm the creative director for Misha Collection. So I started Misha Collection five years ago, having gone to the Melbourne School of Fashion and already having an insight to the fashion industry from um, fashion buying, I had a good understanding of product development. So then I went off to China and I started to design a little collection of 12 pieces. My whole concept was offering the customer luxury at affordable prices. My mum's whole upstairs, downstairs, as soon as you open the front door, there was just clothes absolutely everywhere. It was just booming. Um, and this is when influencers were quite you know big as well and new um, and we got some huge influencers on board as well and sales were just ramping up and then I thought okay it's time to lease my first warehouse and now we're in a 500 square meter office in just five years. I usually design for my personal style and what I like and the Misha woman she's you know inspirational she's beautiful she's elegant uh, it's very much classic silhouettes that you can have in your wardrobe for years and years and years that are not trend driven that are timeless but quite sexy as well that really embrace the female form we've got a lot of bodycon dresses and that's really our specialty big turning point for the brand and what helped the growth of the brand was um, the marketing initiative we did um, in 2016 which was a very big risk for such a um, young label was to bring Bella Hadid International Supermodel down to Sydney Fashion Week. And we really shook up the industry when we did that. And we really were able to just generate so much exposure, not only in Australia, but internationally, it just went viral. And so that was the ultimate moment on the spotlight in the industry. We were able to associate our brand with an icon like Bella Hadid. My advice would be to um, other aspiring entrepreneurs is make sure that you're you know, the risk that you take is calculated. It all comes down to the gut feeling and where you see your brand to be, basically. I started the business when I was 23 years old. So, you know, I wasn't a manager then and I had to learn how to be a manager and the, and the right manager and mentor and support for my own team. Fashion designers are very creative people, but I think that they need to come into the industry knowing that a lot of it is the business side of things and you need to have a good understanding of how the fashion industry works, um, how marketing works, how the operations of a business works. It's not just drawing pictures all day. It's very much the opposite. A lot of it starts off with business and then bringing in your skill set of creative design. It's just important and my advice is really make sure you understand what you're getting into and um, you start off doing a lot of administration, um, a lot of things that you might not find so glamorous and fun. Um, but then you can build your creative flair in that as well. This is all something you can learn yourself. You know, you don't need to pay these super duper, um, you know, expensive experts. You just need a good mentor to help you um, learn how to read information, understand information, what to look out for. Due to the um, growth that we've had in, in five years, um, my focus right now, and I guess short to medium term is getting the foundations of the business right, getting our systems correct, making sure that it's ready for the next phase of growth. Because you don't want to grow too quickly and your back end is all left behind. You really want to have a really solid back end for growth. Online's working really well for us at the moment, um, but you know, my dream is um, to have stores around the world. That whole experience when they walk in they feel the luxury experience. They pick up the garment, they're looking at the price tag and wow, the, for the quality and the price, um, done deal.